Hey everyone, in this lecture we are going to deploy our website to our static S3 bucket. So go ahead and log into the AWS Management Console and we're going to look for S3 and we are going to navigate to the bucket that we configured to be our static website. And so if there's any files in here you can delete them I know we had index in 404. Uh, go ahead and remove those. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to upload our um, our template essentially. So click on add folder and just navigate to where you downloaded that. Um, so you can see here we have um, we have our our folder already here um, in our downloads right so we're gonna wanna just open this up and typically if you download from template mo they have like a subfolder after you unzip it um, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna select the parent folder that all of our files are in right so this will actually only shows folders since we're an upload folder but if you actually went to add files you can see that um, and if we went to downloads, uh, this is essentially where all of our files are. Um, so we're going to select add folder and we're going to go to downloads and then we're going to open that up and then select the parent folder where all of our files are. So this one here. And uh, you can see all of the files that it's going to upload from within that folder. And then just leave everything the same or leave everything default and then click upload and it'll go through and it'll upload all of those files into our static website bucket. It shouldn't take too long, probably about a minute. Um, and you can see here kind of the progress of everything that's being uploaded. Uh, there's a couple that are pending because I believe the bootstrap ones are, are pretty heavy. Um, so we'll just wait for that to be completed and then we'll actually go back. You could click exit or you could just click this destination here. It'll take you back into our um, into our website bucket. And now we'll need to do one more thing since we uploaded that folder and everything within that folder to the root of our infotro.io. Let's just go into that folder and then we'll check everything and we're gonna move it up one folder directory. So highlight everything or check everything and then go to actions and move. And we're going to want to um, select the destination to be the infotro.io bucket. So go browse S3 and then we can just click this infotro.io and then just choose destination and it'll fill that in for us automatically and then we click move and then it's moved everything into the root of our bucket if we click exit there's no there's nothing left in that folder anymore and if we go to infotrode um, that should be about it so we have all of our assets and everything um, there's one thing that we need to add we need to add that 404 error page back in. So if we look at properties down here on the static website hosting, if you click edit, you could see there's an error document. If you try and access something within this bucket and you don't have that 404.html, it'll break. So we need to add in, even if it's just an, an empty, empty page, we'll need to add in something. So we'll click cancel and go back to objects. So we could see all of our objects. And then we'll just need to create a new file. Um, we'll just put error. Save it in our downloads as um, as just 404.html and then we can go ahead and upload that. So we'll upload just a single 404 file. thought I saved it there. I might have saved it somewhere else. Documents, maybe. 
Right, we'll go ahead and just add that in. And then we will upload it. And that should be it. So if we go to Infotrode, we could either go to this link here, or we can use that CloudFront um, distribution domain that we created in the last lecture. Let's try that. So let's, uh, this is our CloudFront URL here. Let's just go ahead and copy that link and then open up a browser, paste, and go. If you're seeing the old index.html, it's because CloudFront does cache. Um, I believe it's, uh, they cache anything accessed for up to 24 hours. Let's see if we can access it over HTTPS. Um, so you'll either have to go into your CloudFront distribution and we'll want to create an invalidation, right? Uh, an invalidation essentially just clears the, it clears the cache, right? So the way CloudFront caches data is, or caches websites, is it'll go out and it'll, um, it'll fetch a website, right? And then save it to an edge location and then it'll just access that edge location um, for the next 24 hours essentially or for however long you set your cache time to live so if you make a change to your website um, it'll probably take it could take up to 24 hours for that change to take effect um, because it's caching that that website content right so um, if we want to see it right away we'll either have to create a cache invalidation or we'll go back to S3 and we can just access it on that bucket URL. So let's do that without having to create a cache invalidation. Um, so we have Infotrode and we go to properties down here. If we just access this link here and paste it and we can see hmm, there it is. Perfect. So yeah, that's it. That's um, that's essentially how you create a static website um, with S three.